Well, what a week, what a week. I just moved into a new apartment and I'm gonna show you what my media cage looks like in just a moment. And another thing too, and part, I mean, if, if you're one of the awesome people that just subscribed to my YouTube channel this week, I got like 45 new subscriptions, which where I'm at, th that's like a big deal to me where I'm at right now and I'm really honored. Uh, one of my videos did really, really well, and I've been thinking for a few weeks about what I'm good at and what I'm not good at and where I make mistakes and people care. Like, like when you make a mistake at something and people care, that's a clue at what you could be good at. So this is the regular weekly. This is a 10-year-old type of podcast I've been doing, and it's also on YouTube. If you don't like this, please don't troll. Please don't be offended. Most of my videos are not going to be like this, but you see the green screen podcast weekly up in the corner. Okay, it's going to be one of those. Just pass over it and, and watch the others. I'm going to talk in this video about things I've learned about YouTube and podcasting and how they're different and some observations about the way YouTube works and also uh, like, like for some walkaway people, if you're, if you're in walkaway, you're new to walkaway, uh, kind of what the the conservatives have been saying for several years about the Democrats in media and just, just some general thinking. I'm going to talk about all that. And I have some big announcements about format changes I'm going to be making. Now, this is kind of my regular weekly, cut it up on Monday, come back to it, be regular, got to be regular. Got, like, <laughs> if, if you want to be a writer, you know the secret to being a writer? Right. Yeah, okay. So, you know, I'd come back to this podcast to keep doing it. I wanted to be practiced at it. I wanted to do a good job. 10 years ago, I started it as audio. I coded my own podcast feed. I didn't use any tools. I just edited it myself. And I took a few years off because it just wasn't to the standard that I wanted. And then I got back into it about six, seven years ago. And every week I keep this going. So this was an audio podcast first. I have the green screen behind me kind of as part of that. Like I, I have, oh, you're going to see it in a minute. I've always been surrounded by green in my little media cage, wherever that is. And because I cut it up, sometimes I have water. So I'm just drinking water because this is where I cut it up every week and I talk about the inside baseballs, maybe some philosophy that got me geeks, something I've been learning, new changes. This is the very interesting Jesse Steele Bulletin of the Week. So if you see the green, and you don't like this, next time just skip over it. Please don't troll and expect it to be something it's not. Most of the videos will be what they typically are. <clears throat> ah, <clears throat> pardon my French. It's polite to uh, <coughs> belch uh, it, it in the um, in France, I suppose, at, at the dinner table. I'm gonna take this camera off. I'm gonna show you what my new media cages. Give a little informal tour. Uh, around the, uh, the apartment. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to get up and walk around. Okay, um, this is my new media cage. And uh, th this is what I look at right there. That's that's the shot I have. Uh, oh, okay, we're getting folk. You got a lot of lights here. And you got to do all this stuff in order to make a, a video up here good on TV. Um, all right, this is, the, this is the floor. You can see, there, I got that set up. And we got uh, this on this thing. This is my media cage. I... I didn't need a coat hanger, but I put that there to eat up sound. This also is over in uh, in the corner. Corners like to make echoes. And uh, this is the drape behind me. This is my little media cage. This is a new apartment I just moved into. Um, and uh, I got a little porch back there. Awesome little bathroom. I might I might show. I actually have a loft. Like there's stairs and there's a little loft up there. And that's that's where the bed goes and stuff. Like it's it's really nice saving space in Asia. Um, anyhow, moving was exhausting. I had friends that helped me. When you're in another country, you can't just call mom and dad and ask them to help you move. You, you, you've got to get um, help from friends and so forth. Um, YouTube differences and how YouTube, like how it matters. I've been coming to realize over maybe the past few weeks, YouTube, a YouTube channel is not the same as a TV channel. Uh, a TV channel has different shows. Something's on at seven o'clock and it's different at eight o'clock. 
So if you like the 7 o'clock show, watch at 7 o'clock. If you like the 8 o'clock show, watch at 8 o'clock. A YouTube channel's not like that. You subscribe to one, you subscribe to all. So let's say that you've got a question about computer code. You search computer code, you find a video, you like the video, and you want more videos like the video. So you subscribe, and then the next thing that comes through the channel is the guy talking about what he ate for breakfast. Well, wait a minute. Well, you know, okay, let's say that the reason this happens is the guy on, you know, on, on Monday, he talks about what he ate for breakfast on YouTube. And then on Friday, he talks about computer code. Let's say he does this every week. Well, you might not be interested in what he ate for breakfast, but a lot of people are. So, how do you subscribe to one or not the other? Well, you don't. You can't subscribe to a show on YouTube. Now, th th there's a lot I can say about this, but just this kind of creates sort of a problem. You, you, the, the way YouTube works, just marketing or working with people and, and, and giving people what they're interested in, respecting them and so forth, that's just, uh, you got to keep all your stuff the same format. So, I'm going to take the podcasts that I have been putting on YouTube and I'm going to pull them off. And they're going to be audio only, except this podcast weekly. I've been going through that in order to be regular and that'll be here every week. So if you see the green screen, tune out. But the Taiwan special, that's going to be audio only. You're going to have to go to iTunes or Stitcher to get that if you want. Now, that's another topic that I mentioned before. Conservatives walk away. Uh, talk radio or audio podcast, kind of the same thing. And what what people have sort of been saying about this, it's an interesting thing. Conservative talk radio, there's a number of conservative talk radio shows. Laura Ingram's on in the morning. Uh, Sean Hannity. Um, Bill O'Reilly did a, did a little show later on in the day. I don't know if he's still doing that or not. Glenn Beck. There, there are, there's a wide number of conservative talk radio people. Rush Limbaugh kind of started the whole thing. The liberals in America decided they wanted in on the talk radio game. So they started Air America several years ago. It lasted two years and flopped. People that vote Democrat just typically, there's not many of them that do talk radio. Not many. Now, maybe at night, uh, Alan Combs has had a successful show, I believe. So that, that's good. My hat's off to him, and you can see my receding hairline. But he's on late at night or in order for it to work, I, I suppose. You know, Typically, people that have voted Democrat have voted Democrat because either they were told that they're Democrat, like you have to vote Democrat or else the Republicans will take away all your rights and throw you away. And I'm trying to adjust my hat to get this. I can't get my hat. How do I get my hat back on? George, remind me not to take my hat off next time. Thank you. Typically, the people who vote Democrat are doing it because they were told or because they're union. They work, they come home, they want to relax, watch TV, that's where they get their news. Okay. Conservatives work when they're at home. Or they want to listen and be really, really, really involved and make up their own opinions and not vote Republican or Democrat all the time and have their own ideas. And so they want to listen while they work. Well, this is a thing. Like, if you're in walkaway, like, talk radio, podcast, that's a thing. I had, I had a friend, Zach. He'll be happy to know that I'm not discontinuing the Taiwan special. I'm just going to keep it audio only. I had to convince him to listen to podcasts. He wasn't interested. I said, I said try it. He tried it. He loved it. So if you're, if you're new to walkaway, do, do the podcast thing. Do the podcast thing. Um, now one other thing, I, I've talked about this in recent podcasts, growing up, like we all need to grow up. And I'm telling myself to grow up. So I'm ending my regular podcast by telling people to grow up. So I, I hope that doesn't offend you. I hope that you get it. Um, I'm going to do more videos on the topic of... Um, well, commenting on other videos on YouTube. I'm going to do that more because that's what you've decided that you like. 
So I'll see you in the more regular videos in the future. The Podcast Weekly will continue, and that'll be the only green screen one. And uh, grow up.